In this video, I'll show you how to use a form with multiple input fields and save the data in Microsoft Access. First, the required input form is created in the Scan at the Office app. You can add as many fields as you want. For simple inventory management, the fields barcode, text, number, date, checkbox, and a list of individual storage locations are captured in the form. The display names of the fields can be chosen freely. For MS Access, only this name is decisive in the subsequent process. To save the data in MS Access, use the Smart Database Connector. Scan it to Office is connected to the Smart Database Connector by reading the QR code. I deactivate all endpoints that are not needed for this example. Now let's move on to customizing the database. MS Access is opened with this path. Each form field should be saved in a separate column. Part number for barcode, description for the short description of the part, quantity for the quantity, best before for the expiration date, reserve for a reservation, and location for the storage location. The column All Data always contains all the data received from the app and is used in this example for overview purposes only. The database has been customized. Now the SQL statement is configured in the Smart Database Connector. The insert is used to insert data into the SDBC sample table. All column names of the table are provided here. The data from the app is available as placeholders, for example, barcode for part number or text for description. The placeholders must be specified in the same order as the corresponding table column. The form field checkbox requires a conversion from the data type text, true or false, to appropriate data type of Microsoft Access. For this purpose, the access function CBOL is specified with the text comparison. Done! To test it, a form is now submitted using the app. Now update the MS Access table and admire the result. That's it. I hope this video was interesting and helpful to you.